How's it going guys? Today we're going to be jumping into a Zamazenta ETB Plus, I think it's called. Bit of a mouthful, but we're going to be jumping into it and there's loads of packs to open with lots of goodies inside. So let's get into it and see what we can get. Let's go. All right guys, so we're going to jump into the box and we'll fast forward it for you, but look how exquisite the box is in comparison to other ETBs. We'll show you the back as well. Um, lots of gold and black, very loving the colour scheme, got to say. So we'll just, just jump into it and I'll see you the other side. So you get the Series Player's Guide. And I've got to say the feel of this feels really posh. So a couple of cards, I think it's in relation to Sword and Shield. Yeah, all the promos and things. So that's quite nice. So you get the promo Zamazenta V gold cards going with the black and gold uh, aesthetics of the box. Absolutely stunning. So you've got a code card and you've got all the counters and things. Once again, the black and gold aesthetics and dice and cards um, dividers. Some black and gold card sleeves. Look at the shine on that. Proper fancy with this, with the Zamazenta on the back of it. And the more important side of it. Oh, we also got a very nice coin there. Very nice gold coin, Pokemon. Very nice Amazenta. And the important part, which is the packs. So we get one, two, three, Vivid Voltage. One, two, three, four, five, Darkness Ablaze. One, two, three, Rebel Clash, and one, Sword and Shield. So there should be 12 in total. Um, make sure you stay throughout the video just to count through the packs and comment down below if there is actually 12 because I'm not counting them. Uh, so we're going to jump in with Vivi Voltage to start off with. I tell you what, since we've got in piles, we'll make our way across the pile to mix it up as we're going along. Um, so this box, my, <laughs> my partner's been very nice once again to let me open it. Um, but it has sort of caught her eye for a very long time. Uh, one, two, three, four. And I've got to say, with the colour scheme, my personal opinion anyway, I really like the colour scheme in comparison to other ETBs and things like that. It feels like they've gone a little bit all out on these boxes, to be completely honest, making them seem a lot fancier and nicer. Uh, personal opinion though, of course. So we've got Eevee, we've got Heroes Medal Reverse, and just a Shininja out the back. So we'll jump into a Darkness Ablaze. See if we can pull one of those Char Charizards. Yet to have one of them in our collection, to be honest. We've got pretty much next to all the Charizards you want, except for this one. So it would be quite nice if we can pull one. One, two, three, four. And we're starting off with a Water Energy. So as I was saying, guys, I think they've gone all out with these boxes. Um, there is also a, so there's a Zamazenta and the Zacian box as well um, and I think as well there is ones that you can get which includes both of them so if you don't mind spending a bit of money I would recommend it so we've got Rose Reverse and just a Corviknight Hollow so nothing as of yet and we'll jump into a Rebel Clash which I don't think is very popular to be honest between everyone let me know down below if you do like Rebel Clash if it's one of your favorites but people seem to not be as uh, interested in it, from my experience anyway, from what I've seen. Um, but yeah, like I said, these boxes, um, if you've got a bit of money that you don't mind spending on them, things like that, I, I would recommend getting one of each because in each of the boxes, as you saw a bit earlier on, you get the respective gold cards for Zacian or Zamazenta. And it's a beautiful card as well. So we've got Vol Voltorb, we got Reverse Hatana and our Barb Buckle. So we'll jump into our only Sword and Shield and see if we can get something out of there. So I'm hyping all these boxes up, but at the moment we're not pulling anything. I'd like to think we'll get something. We have got plenty more packs to go through, to be fair. But I'd like to think we get something out of these boxes. I think at the moment, at least what we paid was about 55, 60 quid for these. Something along those lines. Um, so to get 12 packs from different sets as well, well worth the value, personally. 
Uh, so we're gonna score up you. So sorry, the cats are going absolutely nuts in the other room. Um, so you might hear that, you might not, but if you do, sorry. We've got a reverse Kufant, and we've got a Tapa Coco V to start us off with the hits. Not one that we've got before. Uh, we don't open that much Sword and Shield, to be honest, but personally, Tapa Coco is not one of my favorite Pokemon, but it is what it is. Still got a hit, so can we keep them going with a Vivid Voltage? We've got All Beetle on the front, which I'm not sure if you guys have seen the other videos. I've done plenty on Vivid Voltage. Um, if you haven't seen them, make sure to go check them out. But All Beetle haunted me a little bit. I couldn't stop pulling him. So I'm kind of hoping it's not an All Beetle, but I'll take any other hit, to be honest. So we've got Galarian Stumpfisk. we got Coating Energy, Shuckle, Ferroseed, Rayulu, Sandile, Weedle, Whalmer. Can we get something out of this? We've got a very nice reverse Eevee. And a Pikachu VMAX. So we have got something decent out of here. Now, I have got a couple of Pikachu VMAXs previously, so it is a dupe for me. But as far as hits goes, that's pretty decent. You can't really go wrong with that. The only thing higher up than that, I'd say, is a Rainbow, or Rainbow Pikachu. So decent, not too bad. We'll just put him out the back there with Tapu Koku, because I'm running out of room. I've got to say, there's so many packs here. But I am running out of room slightly. So we're jumping into a Darkness Ablaze. Um, if we can keep the hit luck going, that'd be great. Can we get three in a row? Hopefully. Fingers crossed. So just in case you didn't know, guys, with these, I, they're pretty much... Um, they've been released as... I think it was a holiday thing. But it's special for Sword and Shield, the Sword and Shield era. Um, so... That's why you've got a range of different Sword and Shield booster packs. And they came out roughly when Vivid Vol or just after Vivid Voltage. Hence why that's where it stops. At these days, we have got quite a lot more Sword and Shield as well. So if they do it now, they probably include things like Chilling Rain and stuff. So we've got Kufant Reverse and a Galarian Slowbro V. So we are still getting the hits. I'm not going to lie, nothing too hype for my personal collection at the moment. Still pretty hyped for the Pikachu though. That's a decent hit. Um, but we'll, we press on, we press on to make sure that this, yeah, we'll put, so this video doesn't get too long because there is a lot of packs to be opened here. Um, and we'll jump into a Rebel Clash once again. I'm, I mean, I personally have never, re don't open Rebel Clash that much, but I'm not sure why people Give it a bit of a rap band rep. It's not like it's quite Crimson Invasion or anything. Um, on my Instagram, actually, quite a lot of people do seem to like it. So maybe it's just from what I've seen on YouTube and things. So we've got the Bar Boach. I went a bit quick through that pack. It's getting a bit easier to do it. Uh, Aracuda, Reverse Magma, and just a Siddle. Lovely art, though, gotta say. And, all right, so we're gonna be jumping into our last Vivid Voltage pack as all the cards avalanche over there. And maybe we can get some sort of amazing rare out of this, possibly. Maybe we can get a rainbow because out of all these packs, I'd like to get at least one secret rare, uh, like rainbow or something, uh, just making sure that was four. So we didn't ruin the card trick for you guys. So we're starting off with electric energy. Is that a sign for Vivid Voltage? Possibly, we don't know. We've got Zeb Striker. We've got Dusclops. Whooper. In a, having a bath or something. Uh, Ninkada. Wisma. Drilba. Wilma. We've got a Reverse Beldum. So not quite an amazing rare. And behind it, got Gab Locked. Okay, so the hits of Sort of going a bit dry now, but we'll jump into a Darkness of Blaze. It seems like we've got a lot more Darkness Blaze here. We've been going one for one for one. You would have thought they'd, um, since there's six packs, you would have thought they'd give you roughly the same of each set. But I guess I'm wrong. I mean, I don't work in a Pokemon company. I'm sure there's a reason for it. Um, all right, so we're starting off with, uh, I was going to say Green Energy, Leaf Energy. So we've got Simmer Sage, Billowing Smoke. Turbo Patch, Trap Inch, Teddy Ursa. Can we get some more hits or some absolute heat to spice up this video? 
Lots of packs, so I'd like to think so. Wishy washy. That, yeah, that's the reverse. The dark ones always struggle to tell. So Aria, Dolce, so can't say that. And uh, Leopard just behind it, which is nothing. So jumping into our last Rebel Clash then. Maybe we can get some fire out of our Rebel Clash packs. Maybe not, we'll see. But uh, hopefully, hopefully the hits are picking up again. At the very least on the channel, we do have quite a lot of last pack magic. That's why you should always stay through the videos, stay to the end, because at the end of the day, it not only helps me with the YouTube, but last pack magic is rife on this channel. So we've got Toxel, Applin, Galarian Dar Darumuka, no, I can't say that, but Bunnelby, Vulpix, Reverse Electabuzz, and a Ludicolo non hollow. So we've got two more packs for Darkness Ablaze. I'm feeling that's the lucky pack, so we'll keep that to the end. And we'll jump into this one. So overall, like I say, we've got some hits, not too bad. Uh, let me know down below if you think this box is worth it. Like I said, we, off the top of my head, I think it was about 55, 60 quid we paid for this. Um, you would have thought I'd know, but we sort of bought quite a lot of things in bulk, so it was within other prices. Anyway, so we got the Tox Toxapec, Clang, and Clink, okay. Skitty, Pan Sage, Golut, Vanilla Ice Cream, Reverse Summer Sage, and, ooh, a Vicar Volt V, full art. All right, so now it's spicing up, that's not too bad. In comparison to quite a lot of the other cards, it's very colorful, this one. Darkness Blaze is quite a dark set from what I've seen, but that's a very nice card. That's decent. So the hits are coming. Maybe I got it wrong. Maybe I got it right. Maybe there's a bigger hit in this. Comment down below what you think. And let's jump into it. The cat's going nuts again. Just r absolutely ran straight past. Oh, well, I'm sure we'll get to the end of the video at some point. Yeah, you can probably hear that, can't you? Going absolute nuts. Right, so we got four, yeah, four. There we go, last pack. So last pack magic, comment down below if you think it's gonna come in in this video. Uh, so we got Fletchlinder, Centret, Rowlet. You gotta, I gotta say sorry if I do butcher any of these names. My sort of domain is first gen, second gen, so I might butcher some of them. So La Vesta, we got Reverse Galarian Mr. Mime. And to end it all off, we've got a Gramble. Great, cool. So overall then guys, throughout the box, we got our Gold Zamazenta promo, so that's decent. We got our Full Art Vicovolt V, once again, a very nice hit. Uh, probably Pikachu V Max, probably the next one on the list, which was the biggest hit. It's a decent there. I think it still goes for a decent amount as well. And then we got a Glaring Slowbro V and a Tapu Coco V, which probably lower and less on the hits. But anyway, still not too bad. Let me know down below what you think. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that like and subscribe. It really helps me out on the channel and hit one of the videos that come up here. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you soon. Ciao.